We're going to begin with a wide look at the tropics, including the East Pacific with Category 4 uh, Hurricane Hillary. It's incredible seeing that uh, highlighted area for the track uh, to include Southern California, San Diego and L.A. Now, in speaking of highlighted areas, we do have four that are currently in the Atlantic Basin, but keep something in mind. None of these are named systems right now, so we currently have no name systems. There is a high chance of Invest 98 becoming a name storm and a medium percent chance, although the models are pretty aggressive in developing both of these. But what's also interesting is looking at long range models. These both kind of dissipate in the short term, so they may become name storms, may not last for very long. It'll be this area, not uh, currently an invest, that could bring in some flooding rains across parts of the islands into the Caribbean, something for those folks to watch. What we're paying a little bit closer attention to is our tropical wave, not yet an invest, but certainly looks like it's trying to get a little, maybe a little bit better organized, at least in terms of more thunderstorm development. Not that it's organized yet in terms of rotating or kind of coming around some sort of center, so that has not yet happened, but certainly you see the complex of storms over the Turks and Caicos and now Bahamas moving toward Florida. This still is a tropical wave, an area of rainfall, which is currently in a fairly hostile environment. We have this upper trough to its south. Most of the thunderstorm activity kind of focused over the islands, but we also have some decent little wind shear out ahead of it. Now, this is all expected to relax a bit, and some development is possible once it reaches the Gulf of Mexico. Again, the thinking between the two models isn't too far off of each other. The GFS maintains a fairly weak, unorganized system with the Euro trying to organize this maybe as a depression or storm. What we've also started to see is a little bit more agreement in the path of this system, staying well to the south of Louisiana. So the chances of much in the way of any rainfall along the northern Gulf Coast continues to decrease with more of that moving toward Mexico and Texas. Note both of the models indicating even farther south along the Texas Mexico border. Here's what the Euro was saying, at least in terms of getting some rain out of this. We have a chance of some on Monday, and that really is going to be the best chance of rain within the next seven days. And even that is not much. Most of the activity will stay down to our south. Could get an increase in our onshore winds Monday and even into Tuesday, but by Tuesday we're already drying right back out. So what little rain we could see would only be on Monday and mainly along the coastline. What could help the storm organize a bit is the lack of wind shear. It will be in a fairly low sheared environment and in fact the upper energy might allow for some organization and strengthening, but it is also going to be competing with that dry Saharan dust and fairly dry air over the Gulf of Mexico, which we've seen time and time again really kill these systems off. So it looks like there's more going against real organization with this system than for organizing and becoming a stronger storm. So that really doesn't look to be the case and rainfall totals. All of the heavy rains will be well down to our south with the rainfall totals for southeast Louisiana continuing to drop. We started